Hey everyone, welcome, and today we're going to be making bath bombs and little itty bitty witches cauldrons. I'm going to do the list of ingredients, going to flash across, but real quick, we're just going to look at them. We have different kinds of oils. Um, I'm going to use coconut oil, but you can use avocado. Um, so we're going to start off with a half a cup of baking soda, and then we're going to do a fourth of cup of everything else. So we have cornstarch, fourth cup, um, Epsom salts, a fourth of cup, citric acid, a fourth of cup. Then we're going to mix all of that up. Just like baking, we want to keep our dry ingredients dry and our wet ingredients wet until we combine the two. And the more citric acid I found you use, the more bubbles. So it says a fourth a cup, but if you want to fudge and add a little bit more, I'm not going to tell anybody. Next, we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. So I'm just mixing them in a little glass container here, porcelain container. Um, that is some lavender oil from doTERRA. You don't need as much if you're using uh, doTERRA brand. So I only use 10 drops, but you could use uh, up to 30. Um, and I would, I would say like no more than that. That's really excessive. Um, I used quite a bit of food color because I wanted to have a really deep color. You can also use pigments um, or soap coloring. The next thing I'm going to be doing after I mix this is I'm going to be adding some glitter and I ended up using pearl mica because I, um, well actually it's gold pearl mica but I absolutely love it. I want to look shiny when I get out of my bath so this is going to make that happen. So we're giving that a good mix and then I'm going to mix my wet ingredients in there. Yay! Now this is going to be um, kind of tricky, kind of bubbles up a little bit so you want to go, you know, uh, kind of quick not too quick it's gonna clump up so you're just gonna smush it around and um, I ended up using my hands and it was actually a lot easier with my hands you can use gloves if you want and this is gonna be kind of powdery dusty so use a mask if you need to when you're mixing all of this stuff because it is uh, some fine ingredients in there eventually you're gonna get it like sand now you're gonna have a little bit of water in a spray bottle and you're just gonna lightly mist a spray or two every now and then to uh, kind of get a more like wet sand consistency but you want to go real light with this like legit one squirt at a time mix it up and then another squirt uh, you can't take away but you can always add more and whatnot so that's what we're going to focus on and it doesn't take very long to do this process um, just make sure that you're combining the bottom sand as well I mean, I mean it's not sand but that's for reference reasons you know and by the way, this smelled so good and my hands were so incredibly soft after I made this. So we're just going to mix all of this up for a while. And eventually you see it starting to form those clumps there. That's what you want to look for. It's really grabbing together and that's going to be perfect. If you're going to use a bath bomb mold, um, it's the perfect time to put it in a mold. And uh, if you're not, if you're going to be doing the cauldron or another bucket, still the perfect time because this is going to hold together nice and firm, yet it's not so wet that it's going to activate. So I've got these little cauldrons. I got these on Amazon. Uh, you can get them on party uh, sites or wherever you want. Sorry about my lighting. I should have thought about where the camera was in correlation to the sun. Um, you're actually looking at the back side of where I usually <laughs> videotape right there. But you're just basically filling up the little cauldrons and then that's it let it dry for a little bit uh, about 24 hours and you're ready to take a bath I'm looking at foam bubble I don't know why this is upside down just enjoy it it's bubbling like it should <laughs> that's all I care about and basically you just stick it in your bath um, you let the whole thing dissolve in there and you soak for a while and have fun these are great for gifts. These are great for yourself. You get a cute little plastic cauldron to keep afterwards. Um, I ended up packaging mine up. And this is what they looked like. I used some cool holiday ribbons. And uh, so that white bomb right there is actually what I call a ghost bomb. It doesn't have any colors in it. That way if people with sensitive skin, they don't have to worry about different dyes. I thought they came out looking really magical and cool. I handmade my little tags and all. And uh, so these are great gifts. I recommend this for everybody. Gonna enjoy my bath now. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for everything.